Top 10 Venomous Animals in the World Many animals have developed defenses to eat and escape being devoured on the battlefield of nature. This involves the synthesis of chemical poisons, which may be employed to render prey unconscious and make it simpler to catch and consume, or to protect themselves from would-be predators. The difference between venomous animals and poisonous animals is significant. While venomous animals need specialized body parts to deliver their venom directly, poisonous species just release these toxins. You need to be cautious of more than just certain snakes and spiders. Here are our top 10 venomous animals, which include both primates and surprise sea critters. Here is our in-depth video on the top venomous animals, with information on how hazardous they are and even possible use for their toxins. Number 10. Assassin Caterpillar. The enormous silkworm moth, often known as the assassin caterpillar, is Lonomia obliqua. This name is also used for a broad variety of other Saturnid moths. This Saturnid moth species hails from South America. Because of the caterpillar's defense mechanism, urticating bristles that inject a potentially lethal venom, the larval form is more well-known than the adult moth. Many people have died as a result of the caterpillar, particularly in southern Brazil. There have been several medical investigations on its venom. Francis Walker published the first description of the species in 1855. The Lonomia obliqua was named the world's most venomous caterpillar by Guinness World Records. These caterpillars have backgrounds that range in hue from green to brown and are between 4.5 and 5.5 centimeters, approximately 2 in, long. They are well camouflaged and have whorls of easily removable spines in various diameters above rows of tubercles. Number 9. The Wandering Spider of Brazil A genus of spiders in the Tenidae family is called Phanutria. Humans could benefit therapeutically from phone trial venom. With one species in Central America, they are primarily found in northern South America. Brazilian wandering spiders are the popular name for species in this genus. Other names for these spiders in English are banana spiders and arm spiders, armadiras in Brazilian Portuguese, a name shared with several others. The spiders in this genus can develop legs that are between 13 and 18 centimeters long, 5.1 to 7.1 in. While some other Araniomorph spiders have greater leg spans, the largest Phanutria species have the longest bodies and the heaviest bodies in this group, ranging in length from 17 to 48 millimeters, 0.67 to 1.89 in. Number 8. Blue-Ringed Octopus The four highly venomous blue-ringed octopus species, which make up the genus Hapiloclina, can be found in coral reefs and tide pools in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, from Japan to Australia, too. They are distinguished by their yellowish skin and distinctive blue and black rings, which change color dramatically when the animal is threatened. They consume tiny crustaceans including crabs, hermit crabs, shrimp, and other tiny marine creatures. One of the most poisonous marine animals in the world, they are only 12 to 20 centimeters, 5 to 8 in, long and typically calm, but their venom, which contains the potent neurotoxin tetrodotoxin, makes them extremely deadly to handle when disturbed. The average lifespan of the species is 2 to 3 years. This may change depending on elements including nutrition, temperature, and the amount of light in the environment. Number 7. Black Tiger Snake. Large and extremely venomous, tiger snakes, Notechus scutatus, are found in southern Australia, including Tasmania and its coastal islands. Even though the species can have a wide range of colors and patterning, these snakes are frequently seen and are widely recognized in their local area for their banding, which is black and yellow like a tiger. The family Elapidae includes the huge venomous snake genus Notechus, which is only found in subtropical and temperate areas of Australia. Tiger snakes are a diverse set of populations with a wide range in size and color. These populations can be isolated or coexist. The color of individuals varies seasonally as well. The patterning is composed of darker bands, strongly contrasted or unclear, ranging in color from pale to very black. The length is normally around 1.2 meters, 3 feet 11 inches, 10. The underside of the snake is bright yellow or orange, and its coloration ranges from olive to yellow to orange-brown to jet black. Tiger snakes can be deadly to humans, they can bite an aggressor and utilize their venom to kill prey. The snake can survive in the cold, but it can also be active in warm evenings. 
They adopt a traditional pre-strike stance when threatened, flattening their bodies and lifting their heads above the surface. Number 6. Stonefish. You don't want to come into any of the five species of sinenseas, sometimes known as stonefish, at the beach. Their dorsal fins, which are packed with venom, sting before you can say ouch. And if you get stung, you'll say, ouch. Stonefish stings are not only excruciatingly painful, but they can also be fatal if left untreated. The Indian and Pacific Oceans are home to stonefish, which also periodically rest on the east coast of Africa, the north coast of Australia, and a few South Pacific islands. Because this ordinary home item dramatically lessens sinensia stings when it comes into touch with skin, beaches in stonefish zones frequently offer vinegar stations. Additionally, anti-venom is frequently available at local hospitals and health centers. There have not been any reported fatalities as a result of stonefish stings since scientists created an efficient anti-venom. In actuality, 1915 saw the final sinensia-related death. Number 5. Deathstalker Scorpion The species of scorpion known as the Deathstalker, Lyurus quinquestriatus, is a member of the Buthidae family. Other common names for it include the Palestine Yellow Scorpion, Omdurman Scorpion, Nakab Desert Scorpion, and many others. These names typically come from the commercial trade in captive scorpions. The scientific term is typically used to refer to them to avoid confusion, which is crucial when dealing with potentially harmful species. Lyurus quinquestriatus, which means five-striped smoothtail, roughly translates into English, five. In 2014, the subspecies Elge Q. Horaeus was split off from it and given the species name Lyurus hebreus. 6. Other members of the genus Lyurus are also sometimes referred to as deathstalkers. Yellow and 30 to 77 mm, 1.2 to 3.0 in, long, Lyurus quinquestriatus has an average length of 58 mm, 2.3 in. One of the most poisonous scorpion species is the deathstalker. Its venom is a potent combination of neurotoxins with a low lethal dose. Number 4. Cone Snail. The most unassuming venomous creatures in the world, cone snails are abundant in the waters of the Indo-Pacific. But don't fall for it. These mollusks may be the couch potatoes of the aquatic world, but they are deadly. There are 900 species of cone snails, and over the past 10 years, their taxonomy has been upheaval. Cone snails, on the other hand, are among the most venomous marine species currently living, according to scientists. Cone snails of a smaller size don't pose a threat to people, but those that grow to a size of about 10 inches can. Cone snail stingers are like hypodermic needles that administer deadly serum with accuracy, therefore attacks can result in difficult symptoms. Number 3. King Cobra. A deadly elipid snake indigenous to the rainforests of southern and southeast Asia is the King Cobra. The only cobra in the genus Ophiophagus, it may be identified from other cobras primarily by its size and neck markings. With an average length of 3.18 to 4 meters, the king cobra is the longest venomous snake in the entire world, 10.4 to 13.1 feet. The king cobra's threat show comprises widening its neck flap, raising its head high, puffing, and hissing, just like that of the majority of cobras and mambas. Despite its intimidating reputation, the king cobra generally avoids conflict with people. But when provoked, it's capable of striking a target at a great distance and from a great height. It might hold its bite and inject a significant amount of venom, which is a medical emergency, as opposed to biting and running away. Black and white streaks on the trunk of the king cobra that converge on the head give its skin an olive green hue. Fifteen dull-colored shields with black edges cover the head. The IUCN Red List has designated the King Cobra as vulnerable since 2010, due to threats like habitat loss. Number 2, Inland Taipan Snake. 100 adults can be killed by only one bite from an inland taipan snake. It is the animal with the most amount of human venom on the entire planet. These 6 to 8 foot long serum slayers, known by the Aboriginal Australians as Dandarabilla, are swift, accurate, and deliver a small amount of venom with each bite. There is good news, though. Since they are shy and solitary, inland taipan snakes go out of their way to avoid humans. Between 1882, the year they were originally founded, and 1972, scientists were unable to collect enough of them to perform studies because they are so wary of people. 
In addition, inland taipans rarely emerge during the day because they are nocturnal animals. Number 1. Box Jellyfish Some people rank box jellyfish among the deadliest creatures. They have been implicated in several strange drowning fatalities of swimmers across the globe. This is because some species produce highly potent and overwhelming poisons that attack the nervous system, the heart, and even skin cells. Death can happen suddenly, some swimmers experience shock and drown, while others pass away from heart failure before they reach the shore. This is the end of this video. Do you feel it interesting? Give your feedback in our comment section and subscribe to our YouTube channel.